All right, welcome into the show. Happy Sunday. You're watching the San Francisco 49ers Report by Chat Sports. I'm Chase Sr. Hope all of the faithful is having a fantastic weekend after Thanksgiving. A lot to get to here on today's show, but first, today's Sunday edition of the 49ers Report is presented by True Classic. I understand that Black Friday is in the rear view, but Cyber Monday is coming up tomorrow, and True Classic has the best deal that they've ever offered. Up to 60% off at trueclassic.com slash chat sports. The holidays are here. That means one thing. It's time to break out your favorite jeans, t-shirts, and sweaters from True Classic. I wore a True Classic hoodie to work today. Right now, I'm wearing one of their polos. And now you can get your favorite closet essentials and get 60% off at trueclassic.com slash chat sports. Ultra comfortable, perfect fitting clothes. It makes for the perfect gift for the men in your life or yourself. Everything they make is crafted with premium fabrics as well to help you look and feel great. Right now, limited time only this November with Cyber Monday really starting to round out the final week of this month. They're giving our listeners that special Cyber Monday deal. 60% off site-wide, trueclassic.com slash chat sports and use the code chat sports. They also have some sweat pants and joggers which are really comfortable starting to get a little bit colder so you can work out in those if you're outside and the hoodies very fresh as well gonna put all of this information for you down below in the comment section and in the description of this video so let's get things cracking here on the show and no matter where you are how you're tuned in we appreciate you for making our show a part of your weekend with George Odom, we talked about this injury in the aftermath of that Seahawks victory on Thanksgiving night on Thursday. 100,000 people joined us for our watch party. Thank you so much for hopping on board and supporting the channel here. But George Odom, torn biceps, and he's going to be out two to four months. So the 49ers already were thin at that safety position. He goes down, and the week before that, Talano Hufanga in that win against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at Levi's Stadium, he tore his ACL, and he's out for the season. So right now, really, San Francisco has two healthy safeties on this roster. Tashawn Gibson, second year with this team, longtime veteran. He continues to play at a Pro Bowl level just like he did last year. And then the rookie Jair Brown got his first career NFL start against Seattle on Thursday. Fared very well when he had to replace Talano Hufonga last week. He's the other starting safety. We didn't really call his name all that much during Thursday's action. That is a good thing, right? Because that means that Jair Brown was playing really, really well. But where do the Niners turn from here at that safety spot? Because they need to make an addition. One more injury, and they're really screwed. There are literally no other safeties pretty much on this roster. So what are the options right now? Jaquaski Tart is maybe an option. But as I talked about the other day, he hasn't played football since the 2021 season. And of course, his Niner career ended somewhat in a sour fashion the drop in the NFC Championship game. Following year, in 2022, he did sign with the Philadelphia Eagles. Did not make the initial 53-man roster. Has not been with the team since then. He does have familiarity with this organization. He does have familiarity with this defense. I'm just not sure if bringing in Jaquaski Tart is realistic because he hasn't played football in a really, really long time. And I think that there is a reason and reasons for that. Maybe something medically, but it is certainly odd because he is a solid player at that safety spot, yet hasn't been able to land with the team. Logan Ryan might be the best option free agent-wise outside of Jaquaski Tart, but he is well past his prime. When he was in it, he was a pretty solid safety in his NFL career. Kyle Shanahan did talk about the misfortune with the injury specifically at that safety position. He said, we're going to have to do something. So that tells you right there that a move is coming for San Francisco. We're going to have to do something anyways, as it was, Shanahan said. But to lose George, he's been unbelievable. He's been one of the best special teams players in the league here. He's a very good safety for us, too. We've been thin there with the depth. Losing him is a big deal. So what our options are... We'll look at them as soon as we get in and we start to start the preparation for the Philadelphia Eagles and they look at the roster after that victory against Seattle. Now the 49ers right now do have Taylor Hawkins on the practice squad. He's been a taxi squad player for the last few years for this team. There's also another option on the open market who is also familiar to them. 
just like Joukowsky Tart is. But in Tarverius Moore, a former third-round pick of the Niners in 2018, he's a free agent right now. He intercepted Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl back during that 2019 season. He was released by the Green Bay Packers in September. So Tarverius Moore has played a lot more recently as compared to Jaquaski Tart. And there could be some interest there because there has been interest in Moore, obviously with the Niners drafting him, him being on this team for a few years. Did Terrence Achilles kind of been downhill since then? But last month, San Francisco actually brought him in for a workout, did not sign with the team then. And the urgency of the situation also Moore's familiarity with this defense that hasn't really undergone any massive changes philosophically under new defensive coordinator Steve Wilkes, who you have to give credit to because this Niners defense the last three weeks has been absolutely humming, could allow San Francisco to give him another chance. Now, he's played more recently than all those other players. Jason Verrett has not. And a lot of Niner fans have asked me, Chase, what is new with Jason Verrett? Could he be an option at that safety spot? The answer to that latter question is a big fat no. Jason Verrett is not a cornerback in this, or not a safety in this league. He's always been a cornerback in this league. Now, Kyle Shanahan, after Jason Verrett worked out with the team a couple of weeks ago, after he was let go by the Houston Texans and D'Amico Ryans and their practice squad, he worked out with the Niners. And Kyle Shanahan let that information be public because he talked about it during one of his press conferences. And he said at the time, we'd like to sign Verrett. We're just not sure when. Well, it didn't happen after the Bucks game. And he said that before the Bucks game. It didn't obviously happen on a short week going into the Seahawks game. But the Niners is still a little bit thin in that secondary at cornerback as well on top of safety. So maybe Jason Verrett is an option for San Francisco at cornerback. But he's not going to play safety for this team. I'll tell you what. Talked about this with Larry Kruger. This video is already up on the channel. Go ahead and check that out. Been joining the Kruger Show every single Friday at 10.30 a.m. Pacific time. So go check out my appearances over there. Good Niners talk. And, you know, we talked about some of the options here for San Francisco. There are available options, but tell you this, the play of Ambry Thomas and Charvarius Mooney Ward has been spectacular, especially with how Ambry Thomas has filled in the last three weeks. Utilizing him at outside corner with Charvarius Ward, moving Diamador Lenore to the slot has completely changed the secondary. And then you've also seen some fantastic play from a guy like Charvarius Mooney Ward who put the clamps on DK Metcalf on Thursday night. So that calms your nerves a little bit about the secondary here. But speaking of Isaiah Oliver, could he move to safety? You know, maybe you could see him in nickel and run situations. I just do not want to see him passing back in pa uh, going back in pass coverage, excuse me, oftentimes because Isaiah Oliver, as we saw this year, was one of the lowest graded cornerbacks in the National Football League. In some of those nickel run situations where he can play in the box, you can put him on the field to blitz the quarterback. He has done and fared okay in those types of situations. So maybe you could, could, uh, you could kind of put a Band-Aid on that safety position and you could use him as type of a hybrid player. Another familiar name that some fans have asked about is Quantrez Knight, who I thought had a really good preseason for San Francisco. I think he plays with a lot of toughness. He's rugged. He has a lot of swagger, not afraid to hit you. That would have been nice at corner safety hybrid. That is a player who does have versatility, but he was put on the Niners practice squad and then he was poached from the Niners practice squad and put on the Arizona Cardinals active roster. So just giving you the latest at that safety and that cornerback position. This is why you subscribe to the channel, because if you want daily Niners updates, we have you covered here on the show. This is the San Francisco 49ers report. I'm Chase Senior. Appreciate all of you for watching and we'll see you with more content coming up tomorrow.